CUP stock still remains in a bearish trend despite trading above its 200 day moving average. In this session of today, the 14th of August 2023, it is, uh, it is bouncing from um, the support of uh, $3.6. Uh, is that the support? $3.5. $3.54. It's uh, bouncing from that and has just uh, managed in the again of 1.69%. Uh, so we can see some interesting, um, it, an interesting technical pattern has uh, formed here. What looks like a double top, but it's not a double top because um, it hasn't broken through the support we has around here, which is around $3.51. So it, is, it has held that um, sub, it's, it has held that uh, its position not falling, not to dro not dropping below that uh, support. So technically, it's not um, it is not uh, a double top. But uh, what is absolutely certain is that um, it's in a bearish trend. Okay. So given all of that, we have um, some projections here. Downward projection of one point of three point six dollars, but there is an upper projection of. Uh, 3.82 dollars on its uh, one minute chart so let's look at the one day chart and see what projections are saying what the algorithms are saying on the daily chart we have a downward projection of uh, 3.22 dollars 2.51 1 1.61 1 upper projection of um, 4.28 one 4.94 5.95 and all the way towards um 8.62 so short interest is uh i think uh one of the reasons why it's amongst other things is uh, not just because of its bankruptcy it's also because of the short interest and the cost to borrow it had you know that uh it was quite high that was uh Amongst other things, what has, um, or rather, I think probably the sh the, the news of um, the the company indicating that um, it's it might file for bankruptcy probably resulted in um, a huge, uh, the significant short interest, and subsequently the uh, high cost to borrow that ran up um, a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, the cost to borrow was quite quite a high one, so that. Um, ultimately resulted in um, a huge following from uh, retail investors so let's see what the short interest is for TUP okay short interest is 27.12 so it's just this the sort of things we see as well but um, uh it is that cost of borrow cost to borrow cost to cost uh cost to borrow that uh was high and a few weeks ago that um you know uh got itself so volatile then but um so far so nothing not much not we're not we're not seeing a huge amount of volatility so far so upper projection of um 8.62 but there's also a downward projection of uh, 1.61 so Let's look at the weekly chart and see what we have there on the TUP. Oh yes, it has. It's uh, it's been around for some time. So from where it is now, there is an upper projection of nine point six dollars. That was worth what it was trading at uh, as of um, September of last year. Yeah, TUP stock um, just holding gains of around one point four percent in this session of. Uh, today the 14th of August see what you make of it and I'll definitely continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video